This is the Urban Book Club. I am Raquel Mahalo. All right, today I wanted to talk about the American economy and how culture is sold on the open market. Uh, what I mean by that is Chinese people sell Chinese food. Uh, the Irish people brought Irish, Irish whiskey originally into North America. Um, the Italians brought olive oil. Right? The list goes on and on. Even today, we have Korean people uh, selling the majority of the hair extensions and, and, and wigs. We have people from India are synonymous, have become synonymous with hospitality. And then those of us <clears throat> who are part of the diaspora, especially in North America, where we call you know Black Americans or African Americans, tend to be did not have the culture to sell on the marketplace because we were cut off from it, and that is the major issue. Some of us who've gotten into selling uh, kente cloth and shea butter and beads and things like that in America, those of uh, from Black Americans or diasporans, we would not get the shea butter at the same price as the brothers and sisters who come directly from the continent, right? Because they have someone they can just call and get the products sent directly to them. So in this approach, we aim to, to uh, bridge gaps of communication and to bridge gaps of uh, a network so that we can do those things and to repair those broken uh, economic relationships. And for me, we need to get back in touch with the people in the places that our families originate from. So it's not, even if you don't meet someone who is a, like um, a blood relative of yours, that's besides the point. To go back to the places where our families were taken from. Um, and that would be one of the things that would get us the best results for a number of reasons. They don't. It's just that simple, man. We have to move on and do the things that we have to do. No more convincing people. Um, but that's a lot of the problem what's going on in the in the uh, in the black world right now, man. We were cut off from the trade, you know, from being able to to go and get raw materials because basically, um, mostly everything hinges on that. That was probably one of the most detrimental parts of the ethnocide that happened to uh, the diaspora, the, especially the black Americans. Ethnocide, ethnocide. I'm telling you, that is what uh, happened to us. But this is Raquel Mahalo. Subscribe to the Urban Book Club. Peace.